my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about the newest additions to the Clover collection from Too Faced. We have two, kind of three new items, two new makeup items to talk about. Before we get into the palette and the new Melted Clover lipstick, let's talk about the extra from this collection. There's a stuffed plush Clover. This is so cute. I'm not going to talk too much about this because this is literally a $24 stuffed animal. But if you are a huge fan of Clover or if you happen to have a little chihuahua that looks like Clover, this is probably going to be something that you love. One thing I actually love about these new Clover items is that Too Faced just like went for it. People love to give Too Faced a hard time and say that their packaging is so childish or it looks like kids makeup or whatever and they just went for it. They're like, screw it, we're gonna make a stuffed animal. <laughs> it's so incredibly extra, but I actually, <laughs> I kind of love it. I kind of appreciate the like in your face-ness of it. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't even make sense, probably not. I kind of feel the same way about the packaging on this palette. It seems like they were just sort of laughing at all the critics that say, this looks like, you know, Claire's makeup or whatever. You know that store Claire's? I think it's called icing now, I don't know. It seems to me like Too Faced was like, okay, you want kids makeup? Like, here you go. <laughs> Here's a little plastic like puppy dog palette. That's one of the things I really love about Too Faced. They're so unapologetic about their aesthetic and people give them a hard time. People love to roast Too Faced for their packaging, but they keep, they keep selling. We keep buying it. <laughs> so I guess the joke's on us. I personally love some of their really cutesy packaging. It's not for everyone. That's fine. We'll get to the palette in a second. First, let's talk about the lipstick. This is the Too Faced Melted Clover 2. There is an original Melted Clover. So I'm gonna do a comparison between Clover 2 and the original Clover for you, just so that you can see them side by side. The original Clover is more of a purpley, mauve type undertone. Clover 2 is definitely more of a warm, corally pink. I am wearing the Melted Clover 2 on my lips today, so this is what it looks like on the lips. I've mentioned before in plenty of other videos that I'm a big fan of the Melted Mattes from Too Faced. It's one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. They're really comfortable and long wearing. They're not too thick to where you feel like they're gonna start like cracking off the lips. I have some other videos on the previous Clover releases, so I'm gonna link those in the description box for you. All of those items are still available on the Too Faced website. Briefly, you could find them from Ulta, but I don't see any of these Clover pieces on the Ulta site, nor have I seen them on Sephora. Right now, all of the Clover collection is just on the Too Faced website. I also want to show you this new Melted Clover 2 in comparison to some other Too Faced Melted Matte shades. That way you can see the differences and if you already own any of these shades or you've had the chance to see them in person, it'll help you get a better idea of what this Melted Clover 2 really looks like. So here we see Melted Clover 2 in comparison to some other Too Faced Melted Mattes. This is from the Candy Collection. This is Freshly Baked, and I think that Freshly Baked is the shade that you would get if you mix the original Melted Clover with Melted Clover 2. This was one of my all-time favorite lip colors, but I thought these were pretty close. This is just a more mauve version. These two shades are part of the Permanent Melted Matte line. This is Sellout, another favorite of mine, and this one is Feeling Myself. You can tell that Sellout is more brown and Feeling Myself is more of an orangey coral, but I think that Clover 2 kind of fits in between here really nicely. So here's some comparisons for you. Let's talk about the palette now. This is the Pretty Puppy palette. This palette is $28. Like I said, it's available on the Too Faced website. This is the outer packaging that the palette comes in. So we see cute little clover cartoon face on the front. And then on the back, we do have the shades pictured up top here. This palette, this is so cute. I know, I know a lot of people are gonna hate on this. I think this is so adorable. It's like if Jared could design a Polly Pocket, that's what this is. 
There's a little sticker on the back that has the shade names. The shades are not printed inside, but it says very clearly on the back here, limited edition eyeshadow palette. So this is pretty clearly not a permanent item. This palette is plastic outer packaging and it does have a very satisfying magnetic closure. I just like that sound. Inside you have a pretty decent sized mirror and then six shades. These are all pretty neutral, basic shades, three mattes, and then three kind of shimmery shades. The one in the middle here, the really dark one, is a matte with a bunch of glitter. I do want to mention to you that these eyeshadows have the classic Too Faced chocolate scent, and they feel and perform much like my chocolate bar palette does. So I'm assuming that this is the same eyeshadow formula as the chocolate bar palettes. As usual for my palette reviews, I'm going to do both finger and brush swatches of all six shades. The finger swatches will be on top and then the brush swatch will be below. For my brush swatches, I'll be using my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and I'll clean the brush off in between each shade using my Vera Mona color switch. After I show you the finger and brush swatches, I'm going to show you some comparison swatches between shades from this Pretty Puppy palette and some of my chocolate bar palettes. Since this is very neutral and the chocolate bars are pretty neutral as well. Here are the three matte shades from the top half of the palette. We have a warm medium tan brown called Bow Wow. A matte white with a teeny bit of a pink undertone to it called Bad to the Bone. And a nice cool toned mauve transition type shade. This one's called Snuggle Time. These brush swatches are looking mighty good, aren't they? These are the shades from the bottom half of the palette. First, we have this really warm copper shade. This one's called Vanity Fur. Next up is a deep Merlot with a lot of little blue sparkles in it. This one's called Heavy Petting. And lastly, a shimmery pink. This one's called Puppy Nose. First comparison comes from the original chocolate bar. This is the shade Bow Wow from the Pretty Puppy palette. And this is the shade Salted Caramel, Salted Caramel, whatever you prefer. This is from the original chocolate bar. These are pretty darn similar. Bow Wow is just a hair darker, but these are pretty similar in shade. This is like a medium warm tan brown. Like it's pretty much the same. The next comparison comes from the Chocolate Bonbons palette. This is the shade Snuggle Time from the Pretty Puppy palette. And this is the shade Almond Truffle from the Chocolate Bonbons palette. And as you can see, these are pretty much the same color. For the coppery shade, the closest comparison I can find is from the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. Pretty sure that this isn't around anymore, but this is the shade caramel, caramel, whatever you prefer from the semi-sweet chocolate bar. It's pretty obvious here that Vanity Fur is just more copper whereas caramel is more gold. The other chocolate bar palettes do have like shimmery brown shades but they're a lot more brownish bronze whereas this is very orangey copper in comparison. Jumping back to the original chocolate bar, we're comparing Heavy Petting with Cherry Cordial from the OG chocolate bar. Now Heavy Petting is a bit darker. They're very similar like wine kind of shade. Heavy Petting's darker and the glitter hangs into this one a lot more. Cherry Cordial has teeny tiny gold micro glitters but they really don't transfer onto the skin whereas Heavy Petting has some larger chunks of blue glitter and these hang into this eyeshadow more. The very last shade I'm going to compare is this one called Puppy Nose. I'm not going to compare anything to Bad to the Bone. It's a matte white, so you don't really need to see that. But this is Puppy Nose from the Pretty Puppy palette. This shade comes from the Chocolate Bonbons palette. This one's called Cotton Candy. These look a lot more similar in the pan than they do applied to the skin. Cotton Candy is cooler toned and it has this really beautiful blue shift to it, especially under the lights. It just looks a lot lighter, whereas Puppy Nose is truly a shimmery bubblegum pink. 
And now that you've seen all the swatches and comparisons, I want you to see this pretty puppy palette in action. So I'm gonna show you a really quick tutorial using this palette on my eyes today, and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. I'm starting off by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And then as always, I'm going to set that eye base using this white matte shadow called Bad to the Bone. For my transition shade, I'm going to mix two shades from the palette. I'm mixing Bow Wow and Snuggle Time. I really just wanted to use all the shades in the palette. That's why I decided to mix these two shades, but they are really nice on their own. I used the same mixture for my lower lash line on a small flat brush. Now I'm going to build some depth into my look, so I'm using the shade Heavy Petting on a very small fluffy brush and building that up on the outer corner. Then I'm going to sort of go over that shade using Vanity Fur and just applying that with my fingertip. Then to finish off my look, I'm going to take the shade Puppy Nose also with my finger and apply that to the inner half of my eyelid. Lastly, I curled my eyelashes and I applied some of my Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. And here's the completed look using the Pretty Puppy palette. When it comes to these new Clover products, I prefer this new Melted Clover 2 shade. Already said, I'm a fan of the formula. I really like this color. I think that it fills a hole in the line. I've tried all of the Melted Matte shades and I really like this color. It's just bright enough to be different from your everyday nude, but it's not so out there that you couldn't wear it to work or to school. It's a fun shade and I think it's gonna look beautiful on a lot of skin tones. When it comes to the Pretty Puppy palette, I feel like most people are either gonna not like this or they're just gonna completely ignore this. I don't expect to see a lot of people talk about this on YouTube and that's because this isn't really for me. This palette has an audience, I think it has a place in the world. This is the perfect palette to gift to somebody who doesn't have a lot of makeup, doesn't wear a lot of crazy colors. This is sort of the answer to the first Clover palette that came out. If you haven't seen that one, I'll put a picture up here. I also did a video about that, so make sure you go and check that one out. The first Clover palette that came out had a lot of bright, bold shades, tons of different colors, and there are plenty of people in the world who don't wanna see a palette with a lot of colors like that, and those are the people that are gonna like these shades. These are very easy, what we like to call everyday shades, although I say just wear whatever you want every day or nothing. This is great for neutral lovers. This is really perfect to give to somebody who's just getting into makeup, for example, a teenager, middle school, high schooler, this is perfect for them. It's not so many shades that it's overwhelming. A teen could definitely get away with wearing these kind of colors to school. And then there are a couple things to make it a little bit more bold if they want to go there or even just to use as like a simple liner. Plus the packaging is super cute. So it's going to look cute in their Instagram pictures. I can relate and I'm in my 30s. This would be a really cute gift because for me personally, this isn't the kind of thing I'm gonna run out and buy for myself, but if I got it as a gift, I'd be really thrilled. I know it's not for everyone, it doesn't appeal to everyone, but I think it's really cute. I'm also happy with the formula of those shadows. The only one that I had a little bit of trouble with was that deep matte Merlot shade. That one just took a little bit more work to blend out the other shades were really easy to work with. They applied very smoothly with a brush and with a finger, and I found them to be comparable to my original chocolate bar palette. I tend to prefer the more colorful Clover palette, but I do think there's a place in the world for this Pretty Puppy palette. I just prefer the more colorful Clover palette. Now, I wanna hear what you guys think about these new releases. Are you loving them? Are you over them? Are you gifting them? <laughs> Leave a comment and let us know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Might be time for mama to get a new paint, but <laughs> this one's getting pretty raggedy.
Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. What? That didn't even make sense. Start over. Face doves. Doves. <laughs> Words. It's like a little pizza. A chocolate flavored pizza inside of a dog's face. It's actually more appealing than it sounds. Cloper too. <laughs> Had my swatch brush ready today. <laughs> you got this. Bush. Real nice. Who are you even talking to? No one. Because you're all alone. <laughs> I'm fine. Huh. Or some such something. <laughs> uh...